In 1924, the scientist called Hans Berger invented the EEG, a machine for measuring brain activity, if you like, for measuring brain waves. In 1929, he made a discovery. He found that the brain is just as active when we are at rest as when we are focused on a really important task. And this posed a few questions to him. What on earth is the brain doing at this time? But this was ignored. Scientists wanted to know what the brain was doing when we were active, when we were focused on something. It didn't really want to get involved in what's happening when we're doing nothing. But since then, this has become more important. And evolutionary psychologists have asked the question, what is happening when we are doing nothing? Who is doing it and why? And what is its purpose? And the discovery was made that this is a thing called the default mode network. And when we come home from work and we sit down and relax and we reflect, then the default mode network starts working and it starts to muse and reflect. And its purpose is to resolve problems and find solutions. It explores memories, it puts things into context. Now, does this seem a little bit similar to the thought chain that we had? where we have a thought and a sensation that leads to another thought, to another sensation. When I think this, I am feeling that. This is the default mode network in operation. A healthy default mode network is essential for us to resolve problems, to plan, and to reflect on the things that have happened and what we need to do. However, when it gets overactive, it starts to cause problems. And it is at the heart of a lot of depression and anxiety. So if we can start to work on the default mode network and get it back under control, this is going to be a great benefit to us in controlling anxiety.